How do you turn your body into a 24-7 fat-burning machine? Today on our channel, we're going to do something a little bit different. Usually we're unboxing or we're going to theme parks, we're talking about Disney. But today, we're going to review a workout program called Muscle Burns Fat from Beachbody, otherwise known as hashtag MBF. How do you turn your body into a 24-7 fat-burning machine? Muscle. This is MBF, Muscle Burns Fat, where you can get lean, strong, and healthy in just three weeks. A little bit of a background on who I am. I'm a qualified personal trainer, a gym instructor, fitness professional, and I'm also a Beachbody coach. Just in case you were wondering, Beachbody coaches are not fitness professionals. I'm going to give an unbiased opinion from a Beachbody coach. So basically, I didn't sell my soul to Beachbody. I enjoy the community, I enjoy the brand, I have a lot of friends that work with Beachbody, but I didn't sell my soul. You will notice straight away that this is not your regular Beachbody program. If you've seen the Beachbody programs in the past, there's normally three or maybe four cast members along with the super trainer in the studio. But of course, due to our current environment, everybody was doing what we all do when we do fitness nowadays via Zoom. MBF was created by super trainer, Megan Davis. Just a quick side note, muscle doesn't actually burn fat. Science. So what is MBF? It's a three week workout program streamed on the Beachbody On Demand service, which is fantastic by the way, you should definitely look into that. It's approximately 30 to 40 minutes per day, seven days a week, three weeks, 21 days. Quick math. It follows the new formula from Beachbody, which is real time. Basically what that means is way back in the day, in the ancient days of DVDs, they used to have like three month programs, 90 day programs, and you would repeat the same 10 or 12 workouts throughout the three months, which could get a little bit boring. You want something fresh. So nowadays they do real time workouts, which means every workout in the 21 days will be a brand new workout. It might be called the same thing, that it will be a totally different workout. They'll change up the moves, etc., And hopefully there's a little bit of progression in there. So the workouts have the same name every single day. They start on a Monday with lower body burn. They have Tuesday, core circuit. Wednesday, upper body burn. Thursday, core circuit. Don't be confused, it's not the same workout. They're gonna change the moves a little bit. Friday, they have total body burn. Saturday, power ignite. And Sunday is a little stretch day called dynamic recovery. So what equipment may you need to do MBF? Well, as all the other Beachbody programs are, it's very much a home workout. So very minimal equipment, which is fantastic. What you would need is some dumbbells, maybe a mat, I don't know, floor space, gravity, water, and that's pretty much it. There are these things called bod ropes that Megan uses. Do you need them? Not really. You can kind of, well, no, you, you, you just don't. You don't need them. You would use the bod ropes while you were standing in place doing high knees or simulating jogging. Like, I don't know. I don't know what the benefit was. I don't know. You're getting some kind of forearm wrist action, I guess, going on. No jokes. <laughs> I really like the bod ropes because they're fun and it feels like skipping, but it's not, and you can use um, them inside. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe if you want to whip someone, they might come in handy. Every workout is approached with a very simplistic formula. Lower body burn, obviously it's all about the lower body. They generally have two exercises uh, and a combo exercise as well. So for example, you may have squats, RDLs, and a combination of both of them, maybe two squats, one RDL. So rather than a training approach, it's more of a, a group exercise class tempo workout. It's very choreographed, and although you don't need to stay on beat, it would probably be helpful for the amount of reps that Megan wants you to do to actually try and stay on the beat. Almost like a body pump class from a local gym. Every week there are two core circuit workouts, with some cardio exercises, which feature in some way, shape or form, the bod ropes, you don't need them. And that's followed by a couple of minutes worth of laying down or in a plank position, doing some core work, some ab work. Again, real basic exercises, but 
they do something and it's very effective. Power Ignite on the Saturday was an EMON workout, E-M-O-N, which stands for every minute on the minute. Very simplistic exercises where you have to hit a certain rep target within 40 seconds, you then have 20 seconds off, the next minute starts and you will redo the whole process again and you're trying to challenge yourself. For me personally, I very much enjoyed the core circuit workouts and Power Ignite. They're just two sweat fests. 30 minutes, 35 minutes of just sweat, pure sweat. In fact, I think Power Ignite on a Saturday might only be 25 minutes, but when I say only 25 minutes, it's not easy, you know? You gotta put a little bit of effort into these things. Dynamic recovery was okay, but the rest of the workouts were kind of, there wasn't enough of it. So what didn't I like about the workouts? They're just too quick. It's over far too quickly. There's really not a lot of downtime in between the sets or between the different blocks of exercises. Megan seems to need to talk 100 miles an hour to get her point across, to get the instructions out for the next block of work before you have to do the next block of work. <laughs> kind of like that. One of my biggest issues with Beachbody programs in general over the past few years is that they want to try and complicate things. Progression is lifting a little bit of a heavier weight maybe after a few weeks. It doesn't have to be complicated trying to add two, three, four, five exercises in one. I'm pretty sure they'll bring out a workout one day where you have to do a bench press while standing up on one leg. I especially am not a fan of the upper body workouts in this program, upper body burn. Why is that? It's because they seem to pair, superset, a heavier exercise with a lighter exercise. And because of the speed and the tempo and the formula, they want you to use the same dumbbell for both exercises. Megan herself says, if you've got several different pairs of dumbbells, make sure you cater for the lighter exercise. At the same time, she also says that this is not a cardio workout, it's a muscle building program. It's not muscle building program. Beachbody have this thing where they wanna pair, let's say a squat, with some bicep curls. Big muscles, small muscles, and it just does not go. There's also some very weird tricep roll kind of exercise on week two of upper body burn. It looks like a reverse tricep press, and then it appears that it's gonna go into a skull crusher, but it, it doesn't. It's just a very weird exercise. Comment down below if you know exactly what I'm talking about. A huge example of trying to overcomplicate an exercise when it simply doesn't need to be overcomplicated was a triple set during week three of upper body burn. Megan takes a dumbbell row into a tricep kickback followed by an RDL. Why on earth would these three moves be put together? So you've got a light exercise sandwiched in the middle of two heavy exercises. But she wants you to go one rep, one rep, one rep doesn't make any sense to anyone that's got any fitness knowledge. I'm quite fortunate to have a few different sets of weights. How I worked around this was I did 10 heavy dumbbell rows, followed by 10 tricep exercises, followed by 10 RDLs, and I just repeat and repeat again, trying to keep the heart rate up, keep the cardio aspect of the workout going, but also getting a decent strength workout in as well. It sounds like I like half the program and half the program I didn't like. And I think that's probably a fair assessment. This style of workout is much more suited to a lower body day than an upper body day. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. There's nothing wrong with good old fashioned weight training 101 from a science perspective. Of course, from a marketing perspective, it's just not as fancy and it doesn't use any buzzwords. Let's answer a few questions. Is this a fat burning program? Otherwise known as, am I gonna lose weight if I do this program? Yes, if you eat in a calorie deficit. Is this a beginner program? Yes and no. We have to define what we mean by beginner. Somebody that's been laying on the settee watching Netflix while stuffing Ben and Jerry's in their face for the past six months or six years, that kind of person is not gonna be able to do this program. Eventually they will do, but currently what that person needs as a beginner is to move. Go outside, go for a walk, run up and down the stairs, whatever you might be, keep it very basic. 
this program is not basic, but I can see why people might confuse it as a beginner program. And that's because it's a three week, 35 minute per day program. And you know, it's market is kind of shiny and colorful and it doesn't look scary. When you say the word insanity to people, they get scared. If you are looking for a very short program length, a three week program, perhaps 30 minutes a day, I would certainly recommend 21 day fix over this one. I personally, as a personal trainer, think Megan actually does a pretty good job. She comes off quite knowledgeable. She comes off with great instructions when she can, given the time limit. I just don't think that this was the best program for her. Will I build muscle doing this program? No, it is too much of a group exercise, very quick, not enough rest time, not enough resistance to build any muscle, really. If you do want a beach body program that helps you build muscle, I would certainly recommend a Body Beast or even Lift 4. But Body Beast, that would be my go to number one program that I would recommend. So, would I do this program again? No. It's just, it's just not for me. So let's give this a score out of 10. What would I give this? One, truly dreadful, truly terrible. Like there'd be no way it would be green lit. On the other end of the spectrum, a 10, truly remarkable, unique, fits all ages, shapes, sizes, the most perfect program ever in creation. I highly doubt anything will get a 10. Five is an average. I'm gonna give this a solid six out of 10, six. And that's not a bad score. If it was me reviewing it for me, I'd probably give it a four. So it's not terrible and it's not perfect. It's not gonna impress anyone, but at the same time, it's not gonna disappoint anyone either. It's right in the sweet spot. For me personally, I think there are better workouts out there on the Beachbody On Demand library, which you should definitely look into. And we'll talk about that another time. If you're brand new to this channel and you came here because of this review, go and check out our family vlogs, our adventures, our theme park trips, our unboxings, our good hearted family banter. If you are looking for someone to talk about Beachbody with, or you're looking for a coach, an online trainer with or without Beachbody's help, then check out the description down below as there will be a couple of links on how to contact us personally. If you've made it this far and you are interested in trying out this workout, fantastic. I will leave a link in the description down below with a sample workout. And if you have done this workout before, by all means, drop a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts on it were. So until next time, let's chip. Mm.